So what did you think of the cart, dude? Definitely a thumbs up, man. Thumbs up, yeah! It was happening. I pulled it out earlier in the week, and I have not put it down yet. And dude, the graphics, they're like right there. Yeah, right can you, there. Can you see them? I, I can feel it. I thought you could. Well, we do have another cart to check out today, so we got to get down to business. It's TV, sports, hockey, and while it may not be the best hockey cart ever to skate on the market, we're thinking it might be the best sports game for the T-16, and hey, you know that's worth talking about. International Hockey Play arrives on the small screen in the most realistic turbo sports game to date. Like NHL hockey for the Genesis system, TV sports hockey uses a vertical overhead view of the rink that keeps you on top of the action as you push the puck down the ice. But the real thrills come with the breakaways, face-offs, and fights because the screen switches to a major close-up so you don't miss a beat of the good stuff. Check it out. Here's a fight. It's a left. It's a right. It's another left. Somebody is going down. Oh! Oh, yeah. And there's cracks in the ice, which can send your skates flying in all directions. And, of course, what's a hockey game without penalties? They're here. But we've got to tell you, these refs are a little funky because the calls don't seem to be right on the money. No wonder the players in TV sports hockey fight so much. I bet you're wondering how we rate this puppy, huh? Here it goes. The graphics are solid. The overhead perspective switching into the close-ups for the good parts works big time. You gotta love the realistic sound put into this game. I mean, check out the shushing of the ice when a player hits the brakes. The bone crushing, crashing against the sides. It's major cool. The challenge, uh, I think we hit a problem here. We gotta diss the computer opponent. The players are totally lame, but uh, well, no big deal. Play with some friends because the game is great for up to five players. The fun factor's there as long as you're playing it with a bud. But if you got to rely on the computer opponent, this game is going to be colder than the ice it's built on. Brr. My man, Bernan, uh, what'd you think of it, bud? Hated it. Oh, man, that's cold. I'm Robert Rutherford from Germantown, Maryland, and I beat Tennessee Star 2. Hi, my name is David Drecker. I live in Germantown, Maryland. I beat Strider on the same day as the system. This is Greg Drecker from Germantown, Maryland. I completed the quest with Sword of Vermilion from the Sega Genesis system. Yeah, all right! Good score, dudes! Game Pro Magazine freebies for one and all! And tactics. Hey, nice view from up here. It's password time in SWAT World, starting out with a couple of free boarding passes to the final three levels of the SNES flight simulator, Pilot Wings. Now, I don't know about you junior airmen out there, but I am totally addicted to this new SNES flying thing, and when you get to the later levels of flights, it is awesome. So check it out, because these numbers will put you in the pilot seat with the big boys. To get right to level six, enter 400718, and you're free falling. and to check out the jetpack, type 773-224. Finally, for level eight, and to pilot this cool biplane, type in 165411. I just couldn't let you go without a free ride to the night helicopter mission. So this one's on me. Punch in 882943 and hit the nighttime skies. Well, since we're doing passwords, here's one that will take you directly to the final round in Herzog's Eye for the Genesis game system. 
Bring up the password screen and type J-L-J-O-I-G-L-A-O-K-N. Get through this round and this game card is history. Here's that password one more time. J-L-J-O-I-G-L-A-O-K-N. Good luck. Now, if you're a football freak like I am, then I know that you've dropped a few more quarters at the arcade on high-impact football, right? Well, start saving up your coins, because coming this fall to an arcade near you is super high-impact football, yeah! And it is beyond awesome. Oh, yeah, the bone-crushing action of high-impact football is back with some new features that truly deserve recognition. Check it out. For starters, super high-impact football has three different skill levels to choose from, pro, championship, and ultimate, for players who think they can take on as much punishment as they can dish out. And if you think your defense is hitting as hard as it gets, check out the hit meter because this game will tell you whether you're sending receivers to the hospital or you're nothing more than a cream puff. Whew, I hate that part. League or tournament play is now totally possible because the machine keeps your lifetime stats, win-loss records, and every other bit of information needed to keep the league going all the way to the Super Bowl. Ah, oh, dude. You know what I love? What? Well, this machine actually spits out Topps Collective football cards when you win. Now, that is pretty rad, I must say. Don't That's as good as it gets. This one is radical. Well, I don't know if the machine is at your local arcade yet, but it's coming up, so line up now. The line starts behind me, and the action is truly awesome. See it. Let's go, bud. <laughs> First, there was Castlevania, then Castlevania II, Simon's Quest, and then Castlevania III, Dracula's Curse for the NES. Then they hit you with Castlevania I and II for the Game Boy, you remember that. And now, the Drac is back and the blood has never run so red as on this one. The greatest Castlevania of them all, Castlevania IV for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. All right, check this out, here's the story. In the small and peaceful country of Transylvania, legend has it that every hundred years, the forces of good become mysteriously weak. Now, when this happens, the power of Dracula revives, and with every time he returns, he's more powerful than before. Now, this keeps making it tougher and tougher on the Belmont family, who take on the chore of whipping the Drac man back into his coffin. Well, listen up, because it's Easter night, and while the people of Transylvania are having, like, this big, huge party, the evil ones are holding a black mass, pouring blood on Dracula's bones. Ugh, the Drac is back. Yo, man, I'm starting to scare myself here. All right, let's get back to the story. All that stands between Dracula and a good swig of blood is Simon Belmont and his magical whip. And I don't know about you, but I've been really heavily into this game ever since it first appeared. And dudes, it has never been better than in the new SNES version. The graphics are unbelievable. I mean, you gotta check out the 3D rotating backgrounds. It is awesome. If I hadn't seen it for myself, I would not have believed that this is such a great home cart. Totally, totally awesome. These Konami dudes have taken 16-bit to the max with characters and backgrounds that look like they're really living, breathing Mondo monsters. Ooh, the sound, it's not just the game soundtrack. It is a full-on album. Each level has its own theme music, and it's good enough to have been cut by my man, MC Hammer. I'm saying plug this game into your stereos, dude, because it will blow you out of the room. Now, it's a good thing that this card is fun, and you can just look at it and listen to it, because once you get hooked, you'll be playing all the time. In fact, you'll be lucky to get Dracula while you're still young enough to enjoy it. <laughs> if you make it to the end of this one, we'll make you a member of the Pro Challenge Board Hall of Fame. For real! Castlevania IV for the SNES means fun, and guys, it just doesn't get any better than this one. More tips! Next! Mega Man on the NES. There's a great way to register several hits on an enemy with just one shot. When you encounter a big enemy like the Rockman in Dr. Wily's stage, you can fire any one of your weapons. The Electman Beam works best. Just as the weapon's about to hit the enemy, you push the select button rapidly so it pauses and unpauses the game. Doing this will kill the enemy with two to three shots instead of several. Very radical tip, dude. We got a free Game Pro t-shirt heading your way.